has done really an extraordinary job in putting together this collection. I mean, really great. He has also become an expert on that particular period and on the art of the woodblock. So he's going to talk to us a little bit today about this fabulous arch as well as the rest of the prints that are in this gallery. So can everybody welcome Mark Falco? My name is Mark Falco, and today I'll be talking about, uh, in a general way, about these prints that I've collected. Um, who I collected, why I collected the ones I did. Um, maybe I'll talk about how to tell if they're fake or if they're real, and uh, where I got them, and where, if you wanted to, you could get them too. One thing I'd like to say about this particular print is Maximilian was having some money problems. And so instead of getting the huge marble, huge, uh, massive uh, columns and stuff made, he uh, did it on the cheapo end. And he, he had it done this way, which I'm, we're glad about that. But uh, he actually was really, uh, he was worried about how people would remember him. He wanted to be remembered as a very important person. So um, this was really designed to be plastered on somebody's wall. It's kind of like Diane pointed out the first billboard, you know, <laughs> an early billboard to memorialize Maximilian. There, there's three little specks missing that uh, make this original and, and real. And it's funny how t three little specks can put me at ease, but that's what it did. And so, uh, we find that this is an original, and it's it's one of my favorites. Um, the uh, he he was doing perspective back then. He was trying to show uh, he was trying to fill up the uh, what you were looking at. Like this sheet is completely filled up with with the horse. Again, nobody was doing stuff like that at that time. So he was studying perspective, and uh, I think. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci was, uh, he had had some drawings that he was going off of, which are lost now. This print has a watermark on it, and uh, there's some handouts. Get one over there. When we get around there, grab one. Basically, if I, if I took this out of the frame and held it up to the light, you would see um, a watermark, which is the paper manufacturer. And so I can tell how old this piece of paper is just by holding it up to the light. So if I was trying to sell Fred one of these, and he said, well, no, let me look at the watermark first, you would kind of be able to tell if it was as old as it was, just by one of the, one of the ways uh, of doing that. <laughs> um, there's different states of a print. Uh, an early, early state of this print would have been a little bit darker, there's some little imperfections that you can notice. This is a meter C of G. Joseph Meter wrote a catalog describing all the prints, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's amazing how much effort he put into it. But there's a little crack. It, well, there's not a little crack in this, but if I had an older print, you'd see a little crack right about in here, in the, in the block, the wood block. And so that's how you decide if it's an older or a newer print. And I'm glad I got our early one. So uh, sometimes the value of a print is, is just in its, uh, how old it is. Last time I was here, I wondered why there was these fainter images in the background. And he told me today that they actually changed the prints as they went along. So they might have added this in or started taking it away at a later date. But apparently they continually casted these prints during that. So that's what I learned. And I learned. Well, first of all, how important it is to know how to authenticate things. And it was interesting about the paper. And I like the fact that he was able to serial in on what he wanted to collect. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that yet. I've collected too many things, but it's a great experience.